film. <laughs> right, good morning and welcome. Welcome to St John's in the Vale and St John's Church. Just outside of Keswick. And it's a warm welcome back morning. for Wookie. And we're just going to do high rig and low rig today. And that's low rig in front of us. Just nice, simple, easy walk. We walk. Yeah. And it's hopefully it'll keep off. <laughs> Weather will keep off. So Monty's having a rest today. He's done a bit, good bit of walking recently, so he's back at home with me mum. So it's just Pen today. Monty's in fine fettle though. That's a nice view from here. That's the view centre. And church is behind. I was up here on my bike a couple of months back. And that's the way to High Rig up there. Several paths. We'll get up Low Rig first and have a ratch up here. Conditions are pretty good so far, so touch wood it'll stop like this. This is the highest point on Low Rig now. It must be the shortest ever walk. We've done 0.4 of a mile from the car park. Highest rock, there you go, on it. Of course, it brings very nice views. High rig there, Clough Head, some of them paragliders up there. Down there's a tail bottom farm campsite. Around the corner there is Raven Crag. Nice cracking views. And over there, towards Winlatter, skid roof top, Glen Caffrey, Great Calvary in the distance. Not a bad view, I'm out of there. Not a bad view. You don't even have to put any effort in? No, a minimum of effort. This is definitely the shortest one we've ever done. So that's. To a town over there. We're we gonna have a walk to it. Well, we're just coming up to a mile, not even a mile. We're at Tewit Town now. However, you want to pronounce it. Some would say Tewit. Tewit? No, it's Tewit. There's Lonsgale Fell and Blood Catherine above. And is it Burns Farm behind of it, isn't it? The campsite? Yeah. Aye. A little picturesque setting. This very pleasant. Get a few fish in here. Should have fed the fishing rod, mother. Ah. Tickle a fish. Completely legal. <laughs> so we've just had a large spot of dinner. Bit of soup. I've scoffed my sandwiches because I'm just greedy. You're gonna be I've got one side left and I've got some crisps. So, fine look at two times before we move off towards High Rig. Just gonna zoom in up the top there if you can see. In distance, El Velin, got a bit of snow on it still. There we are. So, that'll take a while to melt, I would guess. It's paraglider again. Is it? See if I can pick it up. That way. I'm struggling. Where are we at? Where are you going? You're miles away. Oh, there, oh, there, there's two. I remember if Wookie's trying to direct the camera. There's two on the go. I've never seen that. Ah, it's a yellow one and one with an orange as well. Oh. So we're just walking back around now to where we started before we go up High Rig. It's a lovely valley this. Beautiful. When the sun's out. People down at the church in the car park. And there's a little, I think there's a picnic area there, a little place to sit. Come back over to Clough Head. Right, we've come to this little point as we're heading up High Rig. We followed the path up, and this is just a nice little ledge here. But it looks nice looking down. 
and there's the uh, church Almost and the youth centre. There's a little uh, fire spot there. I'm having trouble with the zoom at the minute because it's the, the rays of the sun feeding my view on the camera. But yeah, I've got it now. Yeah, look. Didn't know that was there. Let's get it loud. Tad breezy. So we're undecided whether to go left or right next. <laughs> yeah. It's turned out nice clear day. We had a bit of an escapade a few years ago. With that sheep stuck in the fence. All on scale fell, yeah, memories of that. We had to try and get him out of the fence. Very good views. I can see why people often come up here to High Rig. There's lots of different a variety of views around. He's just having a snack. He's panning around. I see there's lots of undulations, paths left, right, and centre up here. It's quite a, a big fell, really, but it's small in height. But if I was to have a guess, I'm guessing that could be the top. But there's all sorts of little summits. Definitely see why people like to camp on it. It's good surroundings. Well, we decided to come to the summit now. High rig. Here is the summit cave. Getting a bit breezy up here as well. Probably able to easily pick that up on the camera. Very nice. Quite rocky. Pan round. You know what's refreshing? What? You know, a piece of rubbish in the side. Yeah. Bad. We haven't seen any all day yet, which has been really good. Total contrast from this time last year when it started. There's Thelmia. Just zoom into it. Looking quite blue. Lovely views. Helvelling up there. Cracking views. Shadow on Blencathra. And you can't really really notice low rig much now because we're up a bit higher. It just looks like it's not there. It doesn't even look like it's <laughs> Yeah, there, it? it's weird. Lovely. Very scenic. You don't have to go up high in Cumbria to get cracking views. And this is one of them. Impressive matter there. And that's that's in the veil, as we be called. John's in the veil. Yeah, plenty of water running down off the fells there. I'm just leaving I rig now. Just had a, a bike to eat down here, nice sheltered spot. Just admiring the views that was in front of us. Good spot to eat your dinner there. So uh, we're just going to follow the paths around now and see where it leads us. Hopefully, waterfall. Aye. Well, we're in the Moss Crag area on High Rig. The hook is just having a nose up on there with Penny. And the pan around there, as you can see in front of us, there's Raven Crag and the 591 down below. So I think we're going to change direction, head up here. There's a waterfall on the map somewhere, somewhere in this direction. So we're going to have a ratch and see what's about. Helicopter. I was anticipating the waterfall according to the maps, but it's just a, a gentle trickle right now down here. <laughs> Somewhat surprisingly. Oh well, it's just this little gentle stream here. Oh, I thought it was going to be a good waterfall. Well, I'm a bit disappointed on that one. Well, there you go. Well, this is kind of Shorebanks Crag. Is that what it was called there? Yeah. And it's got a, someone balancing little stones. It's not our work with somebody else's artistic work on the cairn. Quite breezy on this side. So we're going to head back now, back to the church. 
You know, the wind down in this cove in the bottom. It's a lovely little chapel. It's well looked after this. Even though it's in an outpost. Some lovely little features here. Cows, collies, boats over there, dogs, tribute to Queen Elizabeth. Quite sweet. This looks like an old confessional, but it isn't. <coughs> Sign and in mother. Very nice. Of course, the church comes with very fine views. Good resting place for some. Rebuilt in 1845. What did you say? It was 1700. Is it originally? Is it somebody buried under the old. Is it? Ah. The dog dish there. Ah. They said he was like a brick of 1770 odd. Well, he died in 1772, but it was restored in 1890. Come out the gates and last car here. As always. So we shall close it out there. Good walk around five miles. High rig, low rig. Nice little change. So we'll hopefully get out again soon. Enjoyed that, mother? I just did. Breakfast cereal on the uh, signal, getting locked down. Hi, out and about. Lovely but surely. And it's a nice quiet area this as well. Not too bad. So we'll leave it at that. So that's goodbye from me, goodbye from Penny, and it's goodbye from Wookie. Okay. See you up next then.